Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the Gossip Closet, where we get to gossip all about perfumes and everything in between. So, let's get started. All right, you guys, on today's video, in today's video, we are going to be talking about and reviewing a brand new perfume that was just released a couple of weeks ago. This, to me, is such a random release because I did not see this coming. I did not know about this release. It just magically appeared, and I was so, so intrigued, so I had to get it, and I have it right here, and it is none other than Oscar de la Renta, and this one's called Bella Tropical, which is, I'm guessing, the same thing as Tropical. It's just spelled different, but it's called Bella Tropical. And this is a 3.4 fluid ounce Eldo Parfum. I did get this from Macy's. This does retail for $112. They did have a coupon where you save $17, so it's $95. I didn't know about that. I ended up paying $112 in total with shipping. I paid $145. Yikes. But the thirst is real. I had to have this perfume. And I do believe this is the sixth flanker in the Bella line. I'm guessing this is the most popular line from Oscar de la Renta. Now, I do have all of them except the, the really dark navy blue one or almost black. Funny enough, I was looking for that perfume and that's how I found this one. I was googling for the other one because I really wanted to get it. I've never smelled it and I wanted to have it from my collection because I do have the other ones. And this one came up and I was like, what? Didn't even know about that. So I purchased it. I have it here. So we're going to talk all about it. Now, this is not going to be my first impressions because I did smell it. I did try it out. So yeah, let me just get to it. Let me open it up. So first of all, the packaging is beautiful. I really, really like the packaging on this. It's just a really, really beautiful packaging. And the bottle, the bottle is absolutely stunning. I like the fact that they went for this color. It's just a really, really beautiful corally type of color and i'm obsessed with this and of course i like the design all the bella perfumes do have this florally uh design this is the coral one then we have the gold one the white one the light pink the dark blue and the navy blue which i'm looking at them right now so yeah this is a really really beautiful bottle it's definitely a standout all right so really quick i'm gonna read the notes for this so this one has top notes of pineapple agua fresca accord red coral citrus the middle notes are elaine elaine coconut water orange flower and the base notes are tonka bean sandalwood and ocean mist musk so yeah you guys just like the notes it's a very very tropical perfume now i'm gonna be honest with you when i first 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 sniffed this perfume it took me a while to try to understand the scents because all i get in the first initial hint is pine soul um lemony car refreshener lysol something very lemony yet very like pine tree it smells very 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 strong like that but as the dry down starts to kick in the middle notes and the base notes it starts to tone down a little bit on the pine up piney side the the pine side i do smell the pineapple and i do smell something fresh and aquatic this is a really really strong citrusy perfume it's a little bit bitter like i said the beginning is very very strong and a lemony but it's not like lemon juice it's more like lemon like a lemonade like a pink lemonade that's exactly what this one smells with a hint of like something piney like a pine tree it's beautiful it's elegant it's very 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 light you guys i have to admit it this perfume to be an elder perfume it's very very soft and light it's nice and it's pretty definitely a summertime springtime type of perfume this kind of reminds me of like the breeze at night like when it's really really hot at night but you can feel that nice breeze that's what this reminds me of like something by the ocean like you can smell the ocean but it's very citrusy it's very orangey it's very pineapple it's not sweet like sugar sweets vanilla sweet but it's kind of like tropical sweets yet very citrusy and bitter i like it for some reason once it's like completely dried down on your skin i get something creamy and i think that's the tonka bean i think the creaminess of that tonka bean kind of reminds me of like a mango 
and cream cheese. I don't know, it kind of reminds me of like me eating mangoes with cream cheese or mangoes with whipped cream. It almost smells something like mango and creaminess, something creamy. And I also think that the creaminess comes from the sandalwood. It's just very, ah, it's very like that. It's very, ah, I don't know, very <laughs> citrusy, bitter, mango-y, pineapple. This also reminds me of something that you would wear when you're fresh out of the shower because it's very clean like that. It's fresh, it's clean, citrusy, and just, I don't know, you guys. It's a really nice perfume. I'm not crazy over it because I feel like this is not something unique. But it's pretty, it's nice, but it's not too intoxicating. It's definitely not intoxicating. It's just a really nice, everyday, soft, pretty, fresh, clean, yet citrusy perfume. So if you are into fresh perfumes, citrusy perfumes, bitter perfumes, like a fresh orange or fresh pineapple juice, you're gonna like this right here. This is kind of similar and I dare to say kind of like a pina colada like a fresh virgin pina colada with pineapple juice a lot of pineapple juice and a little bit of maybe orange juice on the side that is very much the vibes that i'm getting out of this perfume but it's also very bitter but i like it i really really do like this perfume i'm gonna wear this and i'm not afraid to over spray this perfume because like i said it does not stick around for long it does become almost kind of like a skin scent which is one thing that I don't like, but you do get a nice, uh, when, you, when you pass by, you do get a nice whiff of the scent, which is what I like. So I'm going to put this on three, four, five, six, seven. So with those seven sprays, I'm going to get about four hours max, but it is going to tone down quite a bit. But I'm not mad at that. So if you are into those type of perfumes, I would say get this. I do think this is a safe blind buy, especially if you are into tropical, fruity, yet bitter perfumes, fresh, clean perfumes. You're definitely going to like this perfume. And I kind of do enjoy uh, these type of fresh scents, especially right now that summer is coming. I think this is a perfect, beautiful scent to wear at night. It's just a really nice perfume. It's just fresh. It's nice. It's clean. It's soft. It's creamy. It's fruity. It's all of the above, you guys. And I'm really, really enjoying this perfume. I have to say, yeah, the Pineapple Agua Fresca Accord, it is very, very fresh like that. And like I said, it lingers beautifully in the air, but it does tone down quite a lot and it just becomes a very, very nice, soft, perfume so i would recommend you guys blind buying this one but i would probably buy the smaller bottle just to give it a try but if you are a fan of oscar de la renta perfumes especially the bella line i say go for it because this is not a disappointment i like it it's a really nice fresh soft fruity bitter scent highly recommend it and again this is oscar de la renta and this one's called bella tropical or tropical i don't know if i'm saying it right or if i'm just trying to be bougie but it's tropical Cal, tropical, tropical, Bella Tropical. I like it. But all right, you guys, that is pretty much for today's video. That is pretty much for today's review. If you guys liked it and found it helpful, please give this video a huge thumbs up. That does let me know that you guys are enjoying my content. If you guys have any questions, any comments, any concerns, anything you guys want to know, please let me know in the comments down below and I will be more than happy to answer that. But all right, you guys, as always, thank you for watching and I can't wait till we gossip on the next one. Until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.